Hey everybody, Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics, and this is kind of a special episode. Today I went down to my friend Michael Savage, our favorite radio host, and picked up his beautiful 1970 Jaguar Series 2 Roadster. And in this video, I'm not only going to take you around the car and under the car and for a ride in the car, we're going to go for a ride with Mike and he can tell you all about this cool car. inside the famous Savage XKE. You have sold my Cadillac 1965 convertible years ago. Then you found a buyer for my pristine XK150, a drop head coupe, and now my perfect racing car. And the thing about this car, there's a lot of things about it. I had the entire drivetrain rebuilt from front to rear, and that means bushings, shocks, engine removed and that's kind of what happens when mike savage needs a clutch that's all i needed was a clutch <laughs> and i didn't even need the clutch it had about 20 percent left on it but you're sick you're you're one of the most you're the most fastidious car friend i have uh, i know nobody that goes to the lengths you I do it with my boat and my wife says what's wrong with you you have more work done on your boat than yeah. anyone else i said they're they are you know objects of beauty but this thing runs so beautifully the sound. I remember when you got this car, you had a party, a welcoming party, remember that? Yes. And we all cruised around the neighborhood. I do remember. Yeah, it was very exciting. It was like a new family member. Well, it is like that selling it, and I am only selling it, Don. I don't have room in the garages. I can't drive all these cars, and it's time to dispose of things while they're really good, and there's someone out there who would really enjoy it. So I'm going to go down to the big boulevard, I think, and then take a loop and come back, okay? Sounds good, but I think you should put it in seconds so we can hear that cat. Well, we're nowhere near able to do that on this road yet. Because when this thing gets up and goes through the gears and that exhaust note that only a Jag of this era can put out. There we go. It's sweet. Clockwork's done. Mm -hmm. That's unusual. Gauges are all perfect. All the switches. Yeah, this was replaced, by the way, years ago. See this? Yeah, the whole cluster. The entire cluster was removed. It smells good in here. It's got that leathery, nice smell. Redone interior. I think, like, the best cars are the ones you can drive, you know? Like, I see all the garage queen cars, and they're beautiful, but there's just something about cars you can just drive this is a driver. This is a great driver. That's what it is. And when the engine was rebuilt, we discovered, it, of course, it's not a numbers matching car. We're not selling it as such. This was built for, for performance by the previous owner who put in a larger, he put in what, a Mark 10 block in here? Is that it? A Jaguar? I think that's what he said. And it's, so it's got a higher compression. It's got nine and a half to one compression ratio. So it just hums along. It just, it'll, it'll beat the rest of them. And then you've got the triple carb setup, which is just a great setup. And it feels like they're tuned perfectly. Well, Gary kept kept it up for me. We're in third now, 2,500. Hear yeah. that sound? I know your red light is at 55, and it might actually be a little bit higher with the uh, you know the compression ratio. Right? I never went over 3,500 in this car. I'm a very modest driver. Well, I think that's about all I can say. I'm going to kind of make a loop soon. Overcast day, which is perfect for a Jaguar XK. It is. It's a 1974.2 liter with nine and a half to one compression ratio, and she's just a little bullet. Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty. I'll tell you something. Every time I take it out and stop the car, I must tell you, women come over. They almost. 
just leap on the hood of the car. They love the shape and they love the color of this car. This is a very unique color and they love it. Women particularly love this color. So if you're a woman out there and you want Michael Savage's classic XKE, here it is. Speak to Don. Yep. Ready to go. Waiting for you. No U turn here, I wonder. Is this no, a they just Oh it says if a no tree U falls turns. in the forest. No no it says no U turn. Okay. You're very law abiding. Uh you know. Because the law yeah. abides me. Okay, we're in second. Find the Michael Savage Jaguar XK. No, it's the only one. It's the, the only one, right? It's only one in the world. It's a numbers matching car, and that's it. Matches me only. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to the uh, the car. I'm reluctantly selling it. The car is beautiful. I've had it um, and had it rebuilt from the front to the rear. The entire drivetrain, exhaust system, engine was removed. Rear end was redone with new gears. And I had it when Teddy was with me. It's not that Teddy's gone that I'm selling it, but I don't have room for it anymore in any of my garages, so I'm reluctantly offering this to the right buyer. It really should have got a good home. I don't know where the yellow tab went, but there's a great picture in here with the yellow tab of the car that you guys have to see. Look at this. See, Teddy and I were adjusting the SUs. So whoever gets this car, was ever lucky enough to get it from Don of Left Coast Classics, will get this book inscribed to them. The car is gorgeous. I, I drove it last week. I don't have room for it. Since I bought the new Corvette, it's the only car I drive on the uh, sports car days. Uh, this car is going to be loved by someone. I don't know how to rate it. I would say mechanically, I'd give it an A, 100%. But uh, anyone buying it should have a mechanic look at it, right, Don? For sure. Yeah, they, they, they could, but we know who did all the work on it. We Motors, and we have all the bills which total about $30,000 worth of bills, and that's three or four years ago. Yeah, and I love the story because you said, I, I need a new clutch, and it turned into yeah, I, every I, single thing from I the front. I didn't even need the new clutch. That's Savage I style. I knew I had about 20% left on the clutch, and I didn't want to ride it till it didn't need it. So I said, okay, let's do the clutch. He said, well, you know, the engine has to come out. I said, okay, well, since the engine is coming out, do the gaskets on the on the head. And then I said, you know, let's do the pistons. It's, let's do the rings. Let's do the it, crankshaft. It's, it's the classic while you're in there. Yeah, you know. all the labor. And then it was, you know, we have a video of that, Ryan. We have video of it down on that other computer of all the work that was done on this car in the shop by J&G Motors. Well, there's nothing more to say other than this is the car. Some lucky buyer is going to get it. And it's nicer than anything Jay Leno has, Peck, especially since I'm not Jay Leno. I'm it's Michael, easy to say that. I'm going to send that to Jay. <laughs> I'm Michael Savage, and this is a great car. He ought to buy it. I'm Michael Savage, and this is the Savage Jaguar. This is the Savage Jaguar. It's a beautiful car. <laughs> and I hope whoever gets it enjoys it for a very long time. New tires, new everything. Okay, that's it. It's a wrap. Well, that was fun, hanging out with Mike and making our little car video. Now I'm on my way back to my place in Sonoma, driving the Savage Cat. 
and this car is just driving fantastic. I've had it on the freeway 70, 80 miles an hour, you know, to the speeds I can get up to with traffic and everything. And now we're just whipping through the wine country. And I tell you, I've driven, I've driven dozens and dozens of E-types. Uh, and I have, this is the best running one I've ever driven, bar none, hands down. It's absolutely so smooth, just runs flawlessly. It's just great to drive. I'm just punching it right now and it just takes off. You know, and you get up around 60 miles an hour, you're at about 27, 2800 RPMs. And uh, I can't get much faster because I'm in the wine country and it just it gets a little uh, clogged during the day. But listen to this car, it just runs great. I downshift to third right now, a little under 50 miles an hour. I'm at 45 miles an hour, third gear, 3000 RPMs. Totally torquey, just goes. It's just great to, to drive. And then with the triple carbs, the high compression Mark 10 engine, everything being rebuilt, it's just a great car to drive. I'm just, I'm dying to put the top down. Look at that, fourth gear, just takes off like a rocket. bit of wind noise here. It's funny, it's actually quieter when you put the window all the way down. All right, we're going to get it back to the shop. It really just doesn't need much. We're going to you know, clean up the wire wheels, kind of give it a little a little extra loving for its uh, its prom date, so you'll have photos and you can really check it out. And uh, All right, so let's head underneath Mike's Jag. You get back here, you see it's got new shocks. Everything's been gone through back here. Uh, we know the rear end was completely rebuilt. The Dadeon over here again, new shocks, new rear suspension components, and the Dadeon rear ends, which are notoriously a pain to do the brakes on. That looks like it's got brand new, uh, brand new discs on there. So the rear brakes have been done, which is great. And then the other thing you notice is it's got, you know, when they did this, they put a brand new stainless steel exhaust system on it, which sounds fantastic. All nicely done up here. All the way back to the resonators and then the front's all tidy and tight. New shocks up here. And that's, you know, I took the car out on the freeway. I've driven it 40, 50 miles. I mean, it just drives phenomenally well. So with all that done, it's no surprise. All right, there it is.